Well, for the first time since the Apollo mission more than 50 years ago, the United States has sent a rocket into space headed for the moon. And liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket. A private company uh, successfully launched the rocket last night from the Space Force Station in Cape Canaveral, Florida. The goal is for a landing on February 23rd. Uh, nobody's on board, but the rocket is carrying ashes and DNA of space enthusiasts ha who have died, including those of Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry and fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke. He and the first lady of Star Trek along with a number of the other cast members from Star Trek, along with countless other prominent and wonderful people, their ashes and their DNA are going to join together and be launched out. Humanity is going where no one has gone before. NASA gave two companies millions of dollars to build and fly their own lunar landers. The space agency wants the privately owned landers to scope things out before the astronauts are sent up there. We hope it's a success. Hard to believe it's been more than 50 years. Yeah, wow. yeah. You know, they've done a lot of other stuff, but they haven't mm -hmm. gone to the moon in a while. Hey, time <laughs> to go back. back to the moon. Yeah.